Now, Garner saw massive amounts of hail this afternoon. And that's where we find our Maggie Newland. And Maggie, there's a lot of damage to vehicles there. Marius, there is a lot to clean up, not just vehicles, but homes as well. Come take a look at this with me. You can see the hail left damage to the siding. You can see a hole right here if you go a little farther down on the house. More damage on this side. And then if you take a look at some of the cars in this driveway, and there are several of them, everyone has some damage. This probably the worst of it. You can see the hail hit right there on the windshield, and there's glass inside the car as well there. It all happened, of course, after a hailstorm came earlier this afternoon. Now, if you take a look at the video sent to us by a viewer, you can see exactly what it looked like in Garner during the storm. The hail is pretty intense. You can see it falling from the sky along with leaves and some debris. It's really coming down hard, bouncing on the ground. In fact, it's pretty hard to see much at all except for the hail outside the window there. And to give you an idea of the size of the hail, I want you to take a look at some pictures. Brittany Massengill took pictures of the hail at her home in Garner. That's where we are right now. She was at home with her mom and her two-year-old son when she says the storm came suddenly, damaging their home, cars, and an RV. It sounded like bombs were going off. I honestly thought we were struck by lightning at first. And then I, you know, I, she was like, run. And so I went and, you know, I went outside to check because our dog was outside. and. It was just going down like crazy. It was hailing and they were bigger than baseballs. And this is another one of the family's cars. You can see a crack to the windshield right there, dense in all the cars as well. They're also going to have to replace a lot of the screen on their screen porch. But overall, they too, just like you heard uh, people Steve's talked to, say they are very thankful that no one was hurt and that the damage wasn't worse. We're live in Garner, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.